Hello sweet friends, welcome back to Cards TV with Mary. I decided I wanted to make a quick little bunny card for my little great grandson for Easter. So I designed this cute little Baxter bunny is what I'm calling him. He's sitting on the grass by a little fence and I put there's no bunny like you. Now, he is a free download, guys. You can go over to my blog, cartstv.blogspot.com, and he'll be there on this blog post, or you can go uh, up at the top, you'll see Mary's Free Digis, and go over to that page on my blog, and you'll find Baxter Bunny, as well as lots of other uh, free digital stamps that you can download. I thought he turned out really cute. And we're going to put him on a card today. Now, this is a bigger size that I did him at. But for my card, I printed him at 2 and 7 eighths inches wide by 2 inches high. And after I printed him out, I cut around him at 3 and an eighth inches wide by two and a quarter inches high and this is what I came out with to go on the front of my card now I've got all my layers here this is going to be a landscape style card and this is four and a quarter by five and a half inches when folded and I've got lots of layers in cornflower blue I just love this it's the prettiest blue. So I'm going to go ahead and tell you the dimensions for the cornflower blue mats. This is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And I'm going to tell you about my pretty little scalloped rectangles here in a minute. The next cornflower blue mat is three and a quarter by four and a half. And then this last one, which is going to go behind my little Baxter bunny right there. This one I cut at two and three eighths by three and a quarter. So that's going to go behind my little bunny right there. Now this cute little plaid, this multicolored plaid, came from a Doodlebug Designs pad. And I just had this little scrap. And this is three inches by four and a quarter inches. Now, I've got some new glue I'm trying out. I heard this was really good, and this gives you a little bit more time for some wiggling of your paper before it dries. I love art glitter glue, but it dries really fast, and sometimes I need to make some little adjustments, and I can't always do it with the art glitter glue, so I'm going to try this barely art glue today. Now, let me tell you about these scalloped rectangles. I used my Cricut Expression, and you know, I always have to use Elegant Edges. <laughs> it's my favorite cartridge. So, this big one, which is going on top of my first cornflower blue mat, I cut at five and a quarter inches. And this is on page 48. I cut this one right here at five and a quarter inches for the big one. For this smaller one, which is going to go behind my little Baxter bunny, I cut the same one at three and three quarter inches. Okay, guys, I'm going to play some music and put this little card together real quick so I'll have it ready for my little great grandson. <laughs>
Here we go, guys. Didn't he turn out cute? I love all the layers, and I love the dimension where I've added the foam tape in between. I just think he's going to love this. He's just still a little baby, but I think he'll still like his card. He'll probably want to chew on it. Because <laughs> you know how it is with babies. Everything goes in their mouth. But if you're interested in Baxter Bunny, just go over to my blog, cardstv.blogspot.com, and you'll find him there in the colored version. And I also have a black and white version if you want to download it and color it yourself. And remember the tip I gave you in the last video. If you have an inkjet printer, you want to let this ink dry at least 24 hours before you color it. Now, if you don't want to wait that long, take your heat gun and dry that ink really well before you start coloring. Or it will smear once the uh, markers are used on it. So always let your ink dry first, guys. But I think he's really cute. I hope you guys enjoy using him. And you'll find lots of other digis over there on my blog as well. Thanks so much for coming by today, guys. I love you all. God bless you all. And I will see you again soon with another card. Bye now.